Hello guys welcome to Tech Phoenix Media. Today I'm gonna show you how to create pneumorphic effect using Figma. First I'm gonna create a frame of width 759 pixels and height 540 pixels. You can choose the width and height of your preference. Next I'm gonna fill it with a color. The color I will be using is hash F4F9FA. I don't prefer using white color or two dark colors when creating pneumorphism. If you are new to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any updates. Now I'm gonna grab the rectangle tool and create a rectangle. Then I'm gonna fill it with the same color which we used for the frame background color. Let's change the border radius to 15 pixels. To get the pneumorphism effect we need to add two types of shadows, a darker one and a brighter one. Let's go to the effects panel and then select drop shadow. Change the X and Y values to 10 and blur value to 30. Don't forget to pick a darker color like the one I'm using here. Now I'm gonna change the shadow opacity to 6%. Click on the plus button on the right side of the effect panel to add a new effect. By default it will be drop shadow. Now change the X and Y value to minus 10. Then change the shadow color to white color. Increase the shadow opacity to 100%. Then change the blur value to 30. Ok guys we have created a card with pneumorphic effect. Now let's add some elements to it. And of course I will be creating one more type of pneumorphic effect. So please keep watching. This time I'm gonna grab an ellipse tool and create an ellipse with it. Then I'm gonna change the background color of it to the same color we used for the card background. Now let's add the drop shadow. Change the X and Y value to 8 and blur value to 25. This time I'm gonna change the shadow color to white and I will increase the opacity to 71%. Add another drop shadow by hitting the plus button on the effect panel. Change the X and Y value to minus 8 and blur value to 25. Change the shadow color to a darker one and reduce the opacity to 3%. Let's add one more effect. This time we will be using inner shadow. Change the X and Y value to 4 and blur value to 8. Change the shadow color to a darker one and reduce the opacity to 10%. Now let's add a title, description, and an icon to the card. There you have it guys. Our card with pneumorphic effect. If you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to like comment and subscribe. See you in the next video.